and welcome to my pregnant house. Any fans of MTV's Jersey Shore would know that Nicole, aka Snooki Polizzi, has upgraded her life since starring on the series. She's come a long way from shacking up in that party cottage with the infamous duck phone, and these days, she's been living in a custom $2.5 million mansion in Florham Park, New Jersey. Not to mention, last year, the reality star and her family purchased another waterfront home in the Toms River neighborhood with amazing exterior features. We'll be checking out Snooki's properties, and you won't want to miss her tiki style style wet bar or the impressive saltwater pool. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Nicole Polizzi, now Nicole Laval, is a reality TV star known for starring on the MTV series Jersey Shore. Better known by her nickname Snooki, she has come a long way from being a wild party girl on the show. These days Snooki is married to Johnny Laval and is a mother of three. Nicole's popularity from Jersey Shore and its spin-offs also led to numerous talk show appearances, web and TV hosting, and a large social media following. She reportedly earned about 150 k per Jersey Shore episode by the final season, not to mention Snooki has other ventures these days from a clothing store to a YouTube channel and much more. At the time of this recording, Nicole has amassed a net worth of about 5 million dollars or more. After announcing she would be quitting Jersey Shore following 11 years on the hit MTV series, she and her husband purchased a beautiful waterside property to add to their real Estate portfolio. Hey guys, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer here for you with another exclusive house tour on Famous Entertainment. Today we're checking out the new Jersey homes of MTV star Nicole Polizzi, aka Snooki. You haven't already? Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in 2015, Nicole and her husband forked out $2.6 million for their main family home, a lavish three-story colonial in Florham Park, New Jersey. The residence offers 9,300 square feet and is located on 1.5 acres at the end of a private cul-de-sac. Inside there are five beds and six baths, which is more than enough room for Snooki and Gianni's big family. The home has a classic brick exterior with beige siding and inside there are soaring ceilings and dark hardwood floors. We can see Snooki also decked the home out with touches like plenty of family photos to make the place more personal. The couple had the abode custom built and it's a 10 minute drive from her husband Gianni's parents place. In fact, that's exactly where the couple lived while this dream home was being built. Nicole and her man actually bought the land in late 2012, construction began in early 2013, and the couple moved in the same month as the birth of their second child Giovanna. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a grand two story foyer decked out with with sleek hardwood flooring, elegant white columns, and ornate light fixtures. The open floor plan leads to a formal dining and living room, complete with plush furnishings, custom fittings and fixtures, oversized windows, stone fireplace, and crystal chandeliers. Further along, Snooki's eat-in kitchen has plenty of space for her to cook for her family or even do some craft. There's a large island in the center with bar-style seats and stainless appliances, including a massive fridge. Nicole and Gianni's Titanic Master Suite has a sitting area on one end decked out in pure white that almost looks like a bridal suite, even boasting the couple's just married sign and Mr. and Mrs. Pillow. On the other side of the bedroom, the petite star has an ornate crimson king sized bed. Her master bath is notable and one of my favorite rooms with its signature chic black and white checkerboard marble floor. It's also where Nicole loves to take most of her mirror selfies on Instagram. Here there's a huge glass shower, separate jacuzzi tub, and an attached massive closet. No really, this closet closet is bigger than my apartment. Finally, at the top of the home, Snooki even has a dedicated crafts room. This quiet space is where she can get creative with stacks of ribbons and metallic wrapping paper or do projects with her kids. Despite the chic interior design of her mansion, Nicole still likes to add a colorful touch to everything, just as you might expect. While Snooki and her husband Gianni call Flora and Park in northern New Jersey home most of the year, in 2020 they added onto their real estate portfolio with a waterfront home in Toms River, New New Jersey. In a recent interview, Snooki admitted she loves laying out and getting a tan, but actually hates the ocean and wet sand on her feet. Honestly, I feel the same. I've been tanning my whole life, going to the beach, tanning salons, 
so for it. It only made sense that her New Jersey Shore home isn't located on the beach, but rather on a lagoon that leads right into Barnegat Bay. Snooki's new digs are situated in the Silverton section of Tom's River, and inside the home boasts five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, which she purchased at the price tag of 850k. The waterfront colonial home has highlights like tons of oversized windows for maximum light, gorgeous water views from almost every room in the house, and glass sliders that lead to terraces is maximizing the indoor outdoor lifestyle. It seems that Nicole decided to purchase this vacation home after quitting Jersey Shore Family Vacation, much to the shock of fans. Walking in, the home has a traditional entryway with high ceilings and an airy vibe along with plenty of sun that continues into the rest of the home. There's a great room with full wall of windows and French doors to the backyard, which is attached to a cozy dining nook. The main living spaces include custom hand carved antique wood that Snooki can decorate with keepsakes. The kitchen may be slightly outdated but seems functional enough for a summer getaway home, while nearby, a second level bedroom overlooks the open concept dining room. Another entertainment room attaches to the kitchen, which looks like the perfect space to unwind with the family and watch some movies. Snooki's master suite may need some redecorating, but we know the star loves projects like this, and the room already features hardwood floors, a mounted TV, and an adorable private balcony with views of the water. As you can see, she can wave at people passing on boats or check in on her own pool party. Not a bad setup there. Then Snooki's ensuite has double sinks, a walk-in shower, and separate tub. There's also a room with bunk beds for the little ones, plus that extra loft-style bedroom that gives you a look at the entire first floor. Of course, as much as we can brag about the features found in the interior of the home, the spread's biggest flex has got to be the ground. You're watching this right now, bro. You already know the vibes, gang gang. For starters, the estate is highlighted with a beautiful stone terrace that leads to a heated saltwater swimming pool and spa. There's even a water slide for the kids to enjoy. The yard boasts outdoor lounging areas, even a wood-burning pizza oven and barbecue area. You can also go over to the secluded tiki hut, complete with wet bar, which is a nice add-on. Not to mention, it only takes a minute to get to the dock where Snooki and Gianni can park their boat. If you venture out on the water, it's only a couple minutes to some of the most coveted beaches in Jersey Shore, including Ocean Grove and North Wildwood. Other nearby attractions include Cape May Country Park and Zoo, Cape May Point State Park, and Edwin B. Forsyth National Wildlife Refuge. Snooki will likely be hitting up all these attractions with the fam as she said she was quitting the reality show so she could spend more time with her children. She said, I don't like partying like three days in a row. It's not my life anymore and I want to be home with the kids. Considering Nicole purchased that Tom's River abode, the couple listed another Jersey Shore property they owned for 725 k This 3,556 square foot home was also on the waterfront and located in the famed Jersey Shore. The property was also featured in the 2016 series Nicole and Gianni's Shore Flip. We saw the couple buy the 2005 house in the series for 370 k then spent 200 k renovating it to turn it into a family-friendly, open-plan vacation retreat complete with stainless steel appliances, a bar, boat deck, jacuzzi, and playroom. Nicole first tried to sell the home in 2016 for 659 k but removed it from sale after it failed to find a buyer despite two 10k price drops. After checking out the homes of Nicole Snooki Polizzi, I think it's time to bring this video to an end. As we can see, Nicole may be done with her Jay Shore party days, but she's not done with her homes in New Jersey. I think she and her family will be staying put there for a while. Aside from their custom family home in Florham Park they've lived in for years now, Snooki and Gianni also bought that waterfront vacation spot in Tom's River, New Jersey. So while back in 2009 you may have pictured Snooki's abode full of water beds, leopard print, and jars of pickles for classic Classy family estates are nothing like the Jersey Shore party cottage from the MTV show. Snooki and where she calls home have both come a long way since then. I preferred the interiors at her main family home, especially the grand yet cozy living areas and the master bath and closet, but the outdoor space at the vacation house wins. I mean, it had a pool and a tiki bar. Can't go wrong with those features. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about Snooki's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!